I have another story about peanut butter. This one, quite frankly, is even better than the last story. So this right here is a picture of my two boys. This right here is Joseph, and this right here is Joshua. And they're big, they're grown up now. But this is when they were little. And doesn't it look like they're planning something? That's because they probably were. When they were young, they got into all sorts of mischief. That was their favorite thing to do. I did a lot of cleaning up back then because they were very, very messy. Well, one day I was down cooking dinner and it got very, very quiet in the living room. And as a mother and a dad, when things get too quiet, that usually means the kids are up to something. And so I went to the living room and the boys weren't there and I thought, huh, weird. And I went down the hallway and I heard laughing and giggling in their bedroom and I thought, oh, they're in their bedroom. And so I peeked in the door and I looked. Do you know what they had done? They had taken off their clothes and their diapers. So they didn't have anything on. And there was all this brown stuff smeared all over their bodies and on the carpet and on the wall. And I thought, oh no, because, well, I thought it was going to be something really gross that I had to clean up. And I started smelling and I was like, wait, that doesn't smell like what I think that is. That smells awfully peanutty to me. And I walked a little further into their bedroom and they were kind of in the back between the, be between the bunk bed and the wall. And they had this giant thing of peanut butter. It was not this size of peanut butter. It was the great big container from Costco. So it was about this big around and this tall. And they had scooped their hands in the peanut butter and smeared it all over them and all over their faces and all over the carpet and all over the walls. And they were having so much fun. And I thought, <laughs> do you know how hard it is to get peanut butter out of carpet and off the walls? It's not easy. At least the boys I could pop in the bathtub. And what was really funny is on the jar of peanut butter, on the bottom down here, it said, spread the fun. And I told my boys, I was like, look, you're only two. You can't even read yet, but you do not need to literally spread the fun of the peanut butter. And after that, I kept my peanut butter way, way, way up high. And thank goodness they never did that again. But they did get into lots of other mischief. I'll have to tell you more of those stories later.